during your long line training, there is always a renewed tension on the line when you take a dog into a brand new environment. And this is a new environment. It's the first time Tally's been here. And there are pheasants here. So you can see that the line is not fully taut, but what you may call distractions, interest to the dog, environmental pulls, they're very much stronger here. And because it's a new place, emerges new behaviors. So don't worry about, or don't go about giving commands and cues straight away. The challenge of you working the line will be enough. So you can see she's stopped here. I'm working the line with one hand here. Uh, so I'm just fading the process through my line, taking the weight with it as best I can and allowing out as much as I want to do. But I'm not interested in stopping her or anything like that. All I'm interested in is having the opportunity to work with her in a new place on the line. That's what's important. And sometimes we put the cart before the horse and we try to do too much. Here's a great opportunity with that renewed tension. After she has had the familiarity of a previous environment you've been training in, here you have renewed tension, new interests, latent responses, so you have your hands full, literally, with working the line in a different way. And that's what I would advise you concentrate on and focus on when you shift your long line training to a new environment. Very difficult here with one hand, but it's doable. And uh, it's a great learning curve, certainly for the human. Your long line training is far from over just because you've trained it in two or three places. Happy training, folks.